story is titled, Am I the a-hole for pressing charges when my stepson took something my daughter inherited from her mother? I, male 47, been with my wife for two years. She has a 21-year-old son and I have a 14-year-old daughter from my previous marriage. My late wife passed away in 2014 and she left a few things for our daughter, including a gold jewelry set. Her mom was devastated she didn't get to give the set to our daughter on her wedding day. So, I keep it in my closet, since it's expensive, and my daughter is too young to have it, and I'll hopefully gift it to her on her wedding day. Last week, we were sitting in the kitchen when my stepson was hesitant to ask me something. We're in good terms, but have our fair share of arguments. He said his fiancé was taking something from his mother's and my closet, saw the jewelry set, and liked it very much. He asked if he could borrow it, so his fiancé can wear it at her cousin's wedding. I found this unacceptable, and I told him his fiancé had no business being in the bedroom, and that the jewelry isn't mine, it's for my daughter. He asked me if my daughter will agree to let him borrow it if he talked to her. I told him not to even talk about it again. He got all pissed and said things I do not remember. Saturday night, when he and his fiancé were at the wedding, I discovered that the jewelry set was gone. I told my wife and we looked all over the house. I called my stepson to tell him about calling the police because I really thought someone stole the set. He said there was no need, that he borrowed it and will return it after they get back from the wedding. I yelled at him and told him to come back with it right then. I kept calling him till 12 a.m. when he told me to stop calling and that he'd bring it in the morning. I couldn't sleep that night. I felt so terrible. In the morning, he showed up at 10 a.m. He didn't bring it and started stalling, saying he forgot and he'd bring it the next day. At this point, it was clear he gifted it to his fiancé and was stalling. I got so mad. I told him I will be pressing charges if he doesn't return to set today. We got into an argument and my wife said his fiancé was the one who wanted the jewelry set. But he was the one who took it. And it's not even mine. It's my daughter's. Which made it worse because I'm responsible for whatever happens to it. His grandparents berated me. After I told them this, Anne got mad and defended him when I said that I will be pressing charges. He stole and needed to be responsible for his actions. He didn't respond to my final calls. So now, I've given him one last chance, then it's over. I pressed charges today. They're saying calling the police was extreme and cruel. They're all convincing me to back down. Am I the a-hole for pressing charges? He was replying to me sarcastically when I said that I'd get the authorities involved, and he didn't take me seriously. His mom said she'd try to talk to him, but I had enough of him stalling, hoping I'll just let it go so he can make his fiancé happy. I feel like an irresponsible idiot. I can't even look at my daughter without feeling frustrated and infuriated. I'm hurt, but what's worse is that this is my daughter's property that I couldn't take care of. My wife allows them into the room, although I told her not to several times. They're not kids, and there should be some boundaries. I just needed to mention that they were in Europe. Now for the top comments. Not a day hole and don't back down. A 20-something step kid is stealing your daughter's heirloom. The family are all flying monkeys. Piggybacking to say that my mom died in 2015, and all I have left of her is her jewelry. It means the world to me. OP would be the A if he backs down from family pressure. This is straight up theft. And his stepson is human filth for taking something that doesn't belong to him and is a near loom. He stole from a 14-year-old girl. He deserves to suffer the consequences of his actions, especially when Opie gave him many chances to give it back. He's not because he thinks Opie will back down. Do this for your daughter Opie. She's already gone through enough. She doesn't need to lose a part of her mom all over again. Not day hall. Not day hall. You gave the son every opportunity to return the jewelry. Let the cops sort out the culpability of son and fiancé. And get a safe deposit box. Mom's and the grandparents' attitudes show that this isn't going to be the last thing that goes missing. I'd be considering a safe deposit box and a lawyer. The fact that she wasn't calling him to return it immediately would be enough in my eyes. Not a hole, but be prepared. This may be the hill your marriage dies on. It would be worth it. The next story is titled... Am I the a-hole for agreeing with my partner's decision to make my daughter leave when she's 18? I, 36 female, have a 17-year-old daughter. Three years ago, my daughter and I moved in with my boyfriend of nine years. 
The house is technically in both of our names, but I have not worked for the last nine years, so he's the reason we still live there. He has not gotten along with my daughter since we moved in, and he at one point earlier on said he was very wary about being married and becoming a stepfather since he is already a father of three kids, two of whom, 15 female, 13 female, still live in the house. He and my daughter fight a lot, and his 15-year-old in particular takes her dad's side in all their fights. During their latest argument, my boyfriend said he finally has had enough. He called me in and told me that he hates drama. He said that his kids' welfare comes first, so if my daughter's attitude was contributing to their, especially his 15-year-old's apparent unhappiness, something has to give. He said he's always had a no a holes policy in his business, but that extends to his family. He said when my daughter turns 18, we could give her leeway to find a new place, but ultimately, this is his house, not hers. He said that he's saying right here right now that he does not want her in this house after she's an adult. But he said my name is on the house too, so he asked if I agreed or not. I honestly didn't know what else I could say, because it was his house first, and in many ways it was his house more than it was mine. So I told my daughter that I'd help her find a job if need be and a place, but I really couldn't do anything about it if my partner had made up his mind. He interjected and said he definitely had, and having an extra adult mouth to feed wasn't cheap. My daughter said I was a sellout, and that then I should get a job to help her with getting an apartment, even though I spent all my time trying to run the house smoothly. Am I the a-hole? It seems sudden, but I think we can reasonably say that it was a long time coming. Now for the top comments. You're the a-hole. You've been with him for nine years. No ring, and he has clearly said he's wary of giving you one? Yet you choose him, someone who won't commit over your daughter. Your name is on the house, it's legally your home too. You gave no resistance, just went, that's fine honey, let's kick my own kid out. His kid's welfare takes priority over your own kid's welfare? Blended families take work, and it doesn't seem like any of you have been to therapy together, if the fights are as bad as you're making them out to be. I think their relationship dynamic is really horrible. It seems like she's completely dependent on him and doesn't want to get a job. If he is justified in kicking Opie's daughter out, depends on how she behaved. If she is aggressive or violent or emotionally abusive, he and his kids have a right to feel safe and comfortable in their house. If he is being an a-hole, controlling or overbearing with her, it's his own fault she doesn't like him and fights him about it. They've been together for nine years. He has known her, the daughter, since she was eight. A child. For her to not like him so much that they're fighting, after she's known him for since she was a little kid, I highly doubt she's the problem. And for it to continue for three years since mom moved in with her, it's not her that's the problem. The boyfriend is an adult. Adults should be more emotionally mature than teenagers in general. To not be able to even get along with someone is known since they were very young. And for it to go on for so long? She is very, very unlikely to be the problem. You're the a-hole. This girl is 18, and it is 2021. The worst pandemic we've seen in 100 years, and the tightest margin young adults have ever witnessed in terms of cost of living and wages. You would be setting your daughter up for a very unpleasant life if you ditch her at 18. If she is bringing these or other junk into the house, then I can see it. But in attitude, you two need professional help, big time. Also notice Opie's age. She was 19 when she had her kid. How old is the boyfriend? He sounds older and like he has control of things. You're the a-hole. I can already see the post, if Reddit is still there. X years ago, my egg donor's boyfriend threw me out on the day I turned 18. He died a few weeks slash months ago. They weren't married, there was no will, and all his money went to his own children. Now Eggie wants to reconcile. Let it be clear, she never worked. She just sponged off him. But I laughed at her in her face and said, Too little too late. Would I be the a-hole if I get her served with not only a cease and desist letter, but also actively pursue a restraining order due to her harassing me for money because family stands together slash helps each other? Now for the next story. Am I the a-hole for being mad at my stepdaughter? I, 39 female, have a stepdaughter. Molly, 16 female, who I'm not close with, and a son, 15 male, and a daughter, 3, with her dad. Molly gets excited and also upsets very easily. 
She's also in drama and takes it very seriously, which is good. Her room is right above her half-sister's. Yesterday, the cast list for her show came out, and she was in her room squealing and stomping and jumping around. She woke up her sister from her nap, and I went up there to inform her. She was defensive, saying, well, it's my room, and the cast list just came out, I'm the lead. And I responded with, actually, it's your father and I's room, and we'll let you live here. My parents did this with me if I got too rowdy. Skipped to dinner last night, and she's talking with her dad. She asked if she could go to school and talk to the director about choreography and help out, and then go to Hobby Lobby and then go to her cousins. Before her dad could say anything, I talked to her about her sister and how she woke her up, and I said that she should watch her tomorrow. Her and her dad both gave me looks, but I'm serious. Her dad said no, Molly could go do those things tomorrow, but I want her to see how much of a chore watching toddlers is, and how she ended an hour of work in my part. Am I the a-hole? Edit. Since this keeps coming up, I've known her since she was 12. My son is mine. I don't know the relationship between my son and my husband since I never see them together, unless they're eating. Then some of you needed it. Now for the top comments. You're the a-hole, and I see clearly why your relationship is not close. Glad her dad overrode your nonsense. You're the a-hole. The normal reaction would be, congratulations, well done. But could you come downstairs and tell me quietly, please? Why is the three-year-old napping? Surely she's too old for naps. Opie doesn't have custody of her 15-year-old. Wonder why? She is under no obligation to watch her half-sister. Opie is trying to control the house. You're the a-hole. We let you live here has a different meaning to a stepchild you aren't close to, and a child you love and are committed to. My parents said it to me is totally besides the point. Where your parents, your parents? You didn't take a second to try to build this relationship you say needs work, namely, congratulations. You want her to care about you and your child, but didn't take a second to show you care about her. Also, she's 16, so they let her live there as they are legally required to. Young children are notoriously easy to wake up. Why is her room under anyone's room? You're the a-hole. You're seriously angry at and trying to punish a 16-year-old theater kid for being excited that she accomplished landing the lead? Okay, few things. My parents did the same we allow you to be here type crap. It's damaging. It never made me feel like I had security or safety in my home or a living situation. Knock it off. Secondly, just ask her to keep it down. Does your son also get punished with toddler care when he's too loud? The last story is titled... Am I the a-hole for unintentionally hurting my stepmom's feelings? I have a stepmom. One who is good to me and my dad. I actually like her. She's been my stepmom since I was 10, and now I'm 16. She cares about me more than I care about her, and she sees me as one of her kids. She has a son and a daughter who are close in age to me, but I never saw her as a mom. I am so glad my dad has her and we have a pretty alright relationship. She is pretty respectful of my mom's memory. I know she avoids my room for the most part because that's where most of the photos are, but it's no biggie. So recently, she found out that I have corrected people who assume she's my mom. Because a loudmouth girl I was doing a school project with, via Zoom, decided to blurt it out in front of her. My stepmom's daughter was there, and she lost it. My stepmom sent her to her room after she refused to apologize. The same day, right before bed, my dad and her said they would speak to her daughter and that I hadn't done anything wrong. I asked my stepmom if she was okay. I told her to open up because I could see she was hurting. She admitted it hurt her feelings a little that I correct people who make the assumption, but she also understood. She asked me if she could ask me something. I said sure. She asked me how I felt about her really. She told me there was no pressure or judgment, she just wanted to hear. I asked her if she would be honest if I told her. She assured me she would, and when I told her I liked her, and was so glad my dad had her and that I thought she was a good person. She admitted she was a little sad, like wasn't love, but she was also really glad I felt that way about her too, because she would hate it if I didn't like her. I told her I was sorry that what I said to others had hurt her feelings, and she told me there was nothing to apologize for. We both appreciated the honesty, and I thought that was the end of it. Except her daughter has been acting like a jerk to me ever since, and keeps saying I hurt her mom's feelings, calling me a witch all the time, 
and saying she deserves more than I give her because she's been my mom whether I like it or not. She then told me that her mom is better than my dumb precious mommy could ever be, which she was grounded for saying. But I do feel bad still that my feelings hurt my stepmom and that what I said to others hurt her. It just always stings when people assume she's my mom. For me, it's like my mom being slowly erased when people started saying someone else is my mom, you know? I need to know. Am I the a-hole, guys? Now for the comments. Not the a-hole. It sounds like the problem lies with your stepsister, not your stepmom. You made it clear that you two spoke about things and came to a quality and respectful understanding. I would clear the air with the stepsister and do your best to move on respectfully. But don't compromise on your choice to hold boundaries with regard to where you stand with a relationship with your true mother and your stepmother. Communication is key. Good luck. The stepmom is hurt, but she's not holding that against Opie. She's being understanding, unlike other stepmoms we've seen on this thread. It's the daughter who can't let it go. I hope the daughter comes to understand that people are allowed to have different feelings. Absolutely not, Dayhall. You sound like a lovely and caring person with a very good relationship with your stepmother. It's not rude to correct facts. She's not your mother. She's your stepmother. That doesn't mean she's not important to you or that you don't like her. It's just a fact. I'm sorry your stepsister is a big jerk. I hope your dad and stepmom can get her poor behavior under control. But none of this is on you. And that's the end of this video, folks. As always, leave a comment and hit like and subscribe. And if you want more of this content, turn your notification on to get updated on the latest videos. And I'll catch you in the next one. Stay safe.